Hey everyone, hopefully uh, all of you are doing uh, well. I uh, got a bunch of alarm system stuff, <laughs> equipment, broken cameras and transceivers and panels and everything. So I don't know if any of this stuff works, but it's quite old. Like you see the batteries are all corroded and stuff that uh, were already in here. So decide to uh, hold on to this stuff and scrap it. See what we can make out of all of this. Should be uh, quite fun. I always enjoy uh, scrapping. He's gonna go out to board sort here. And go to their pricing because usually I deal with them when it comes to anything uh, that's. Uh, board related, uh, gold finger related and all that stuff so I'll start scrapping and see uh, we can make have a full box here of uh, this stuff so hopefully it goes well and easy so let's start with this guy here some kind of uh, ethernet uh, adapter Clown the screw let's get that open I've never dealt with this stuff ever so I'm not sure how long it's going to take to unscrew everything. There we go. So, uh, right off the bat, we have, I would say, a mid grade board. Obviously, we have the gold in here, nothing on the back. We've got some uh, monolithic and tantalum capacitors, obviously some gold on the board, like right here. I'm not sure if, you, if I can get the right angle, but right here is a bunch of gold here and a few other places. Put that on the side. Uh, at the end of the video, we'll separate everything, all the material, and go from there. See what we're talking about value-wise. I'm sure this stuff has some value to begin with, but uh, I don't like selling stuff I can't test. So I usually don't bother with that. So another one of those Ethernet adapters. Again, we've got the gold here. Pretty much medium grade board. This one looks nice. SPF transceiver. So what I'm seeing here, we have a gold pin board in here. I'm gonna try to crack it open, see what else is inside here, which I'm guessing is just the board itself.
bedding there. We have some very nice gold in here. So we got this pin board. It's tiny, but look at all that gold. I'm not even sure that could be. Unplated. It's a diode. Usually diodes, from my understanding, are not plated. So this guy here, this might be a nice hunk of gold here. I could be very wrong also. <laughs> but uh, there's some nice gold material here for sure. So great for the uh, the guys who uh, keep the gold plated stuff uh, to uh, extract the gold and stuff using uh, the different methods available online so yeah look at that so we got a bunch well, get more focused here so we got gold here we got gold here so we got two diodes nice nice tiny board but very nice put this on the side I'll put this I'd put this as high grade or a peripheral board or something like that. I'll uh, figure it out later, but I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference because it's tiny. Alright, so you have this guy here. I'm not sure what this is. Some kind of sensor. So, we have the wire here I'm going to cut. And we're going to pop this open see what's inside. I see a green board. I'm not sure of the quality of it. So let's open this guy up and looks not bad. Alrighty, we have some chips. We have some gold here, obviously the wire. There's a switch last button here, so that should have some silver. It looks like there's at least this, I consider this a mid-grade board and this is like a low-grade board. Not much on this one here. Let's open it up and see. So yeah, even here on the back, there's quite a bit. So this is, I think, a little more than a low-grade board. Or sorry, mid-grade board, like I was saying. Let's cut the wires. Board pile, and then we have, like I said, this. Definitely a low-grade board, nothing special. There you go, so it's almost nothing on the back. Very little on the front. Alright, let's open this guy here. From what I see, this is some kind of sensor again. For like the doors or windows. Nothing special. Some batteries. These I might actually keep. Uh, I use them in quite a few things. The CR twenty thirty twos are quite common, and I can always use extra ones. But other than that, there's nothing special. A bunch of screws, some wires.
put this in the wire section. The rest is all garbage. Pop a green board out. I can't even call it a green board. <laughs> oh, here you go. Actually, it's not bad, actually. I see uh, some gold here, some monolithic uh, capacitors, so not horrible, but nothing too special. What do we have here? Just some paperwork, some more garbage. Alright, so we got this camera. It's missing the, the shell, I guess. Again, I have no idea if this works or not. I, I'm definitely not qualified to test it. So, the wire here has gold tips, so I'm going to cut these out, put the wire with the wire, gold tip to connectors with gold tip connectors, send them to board sort. of plastic out so definitely have some uh, medium grade board here and some wiring and again we got another green board here Try to get this all apart. There you go. Cut the wires. There you go. So we got this. This is going to be some aluminum. All you have to do is find the security bit, kind of like security screw with a bit to. Get the camera head off. There you go. So we've got a hunk of aluminum. Nothing too special there. More aluminum. Then we have the camera eye. The board here. So, some wire. We got, again, what I would call mid-grade but there is some gold material see this little uh, capacitor has gold you have the monolithics again some gold pins it's a nice little board now we're gonna pop off this board here should be pretty easy So another medium, maybe peripheral board, possibly, is there a peripheral? And another hunk of aluminum. So we got ourselves another eye here, with this time with the dome. The dome. Has some useless plastic, but has a nice hunk of aluminum again. And all of this is all nice aluminum. I'm going to take this all apart. Got all the strings. We got all the metal bits so we can make it 
nice and clean. hunk of aluminum. Put a little screw here after remove. There you go. So got more aluminum, which I wasn't expecting. But, uh, it's always nice to get some surprises. Got a bunch of boards here compared a lot more board material compared to before. Again, gold pins, tantalum, monolithic capacitors, golden uh, these audio things. There's a switch. Some of that. We got the eye that's almost out. Get this board out. There we go. So we have another nice board here. Lots of gold material. Gold uh, in this little connector here. Gold pins. I see chips. Lots of monolithic capacitors. I see some tantalum capacitors. This is a, a little SD card uh, port. There's gold there. There's gold on the back. It's a nice uh, little board. Another hunk of aluminum. There's more in here for sure. Another piece of aluminum. Let's open the eye. Use this plastic. Three more screws. So let's get that out, cut the wire in half, so we can pass it through, there you go, so another hunk of aluminum, gold tip connectors which I'm going to cut and then throw the wire with the wire, my wire pile. these screws for some reason. Oh, okay. Can't get these screws out for some reason. I'm slowly stripping them, so let's get uh, this this guy over here. Get rid of those screws. This is the best, like, 10 bucks I ever spent on Amazon. Because I tend to strip screws out of laziness.
We almost got that one and I think I think I have one more after that. It came out. I think I got it out. There you go. We got that out. So again, ooh, this is really nice. There's a little chip here and I see quite a bit of gold in there. So great for the gold guys. Not much, but uh, if you get a lot of this type of material, it looks like a great find for gold people. And then we have this guy here. Let's try to remove the eye. In fact, we have a nice piece of aluminum. Couple more screws, and I think we'll be able to remove it. There you go. We've got the little camera lens, and we have another piece of aluminum. All right, so then we have control panel, a bunch of corroded batteries. What is this? This is a nice little power supply. This I'll keep and test new so definitely keep and test this might be useful for something else I'm always looking for power adapters so this is a keeper and we have the actual panel this is the last piece I'll be doing so let's open this guy up don't see any screws so this should just pop out I think there you go pop the back up so we have the batteries and all that stuff chunk of plastic throw that out we'll place back our little bit here, remove messed up screws, Let's put the other bit back, we can start unscrewing. panel out. From what I see we have some cabling, we have some copper, uh, like a copper, copper, I guess, foil. It's a nice little board. There's switches for silvers, monolithics. This guy here definitely is going to have some gold in it once you open it up. You even see right here the connectors cold everywhere. That's a nice <coughs> piece of material. Copper isn't anything special though, but still better than nothing. Yeah, we have we even have a gold pin connector there. Definitely put that with my gold stuff. Let's get this 
screen out. So like I said, there's nothing too special on that side, all the materials on this side, so I'd go with it being uh, medium. I think most of the stuff I put medium. Let's see inside if there's anything special. Uh, not really, like I said, there's some gold here. And that's pretty much it. Nothing too special inside the screen. I'll be some garbage. Snip the cable here. And there you go. So let's see what we have here. Money wise. We do have some steel, but it's gonna be very negligible. from all the screws and little bits. Everything counts. So steel-wise we have 0.8 in steel, which is not a lot. <laughs> We're talking about not even a penny's worth. <laughs> But, like I said, everything counts. Uh, for myself, I don't keep it. Because... Uh, it's... Uh, I don't have the space. It's not really worth it. You know what? I found one of these eyes. You can open it up again. I think there's some more aluminum I can take out. There you go. And another board. And some copper. That's a good find. That's in the laser eye, so it's quite a bit of good quality material if you get alarm stuff. Alarm equipment, uh, if you can test, if you can test it and you know it works, that's even better. So we're at less than a penny on steel. So very negligible, but put in, in your steel pile, screws and the bits and everything. Let's uh, look at that. Some nice gold again. Go get that out. Get all the aluminum. board and aluminum so next we'll do the wire zero that and we'll cut the gold tips it's not super valuable but always good to cut them I think board sort is buying the tips at uh, 50 cents a pound. So why not? Another gold tip here. Some more wiring. Another gold tip. have about 2.3 ounces of wires and I usually get about 50 cents so right now we're at about 7 cents threw that in my wire wire pile. Uh, 
let's see about gold tips, which is not a lot. Yeah, about 0.4 ounces. Let's see, gold tips, gold tips. just want to be sure I give you guys the right info. Next wires, gold plated pins. No, that's not what we're looking for. For some reason, I can't find it. I'm really sorry about this. I should have looked up uh, this stuff before. Started getting metal category, tear down category, hardware category. That's not it either. That's. Oh, they're connector ends, so just found them. they're 85 cents. So at 1.1 ounces, we're talking about about six cents worth. It's not bad; it all adds up. They're so about 13 cents right now. All right, so oh, we have the aluminum, and we're at a one pound. 12 ounces. So I got uh, disconnected there from my camera somehow. Like I was saying, I have about 1.11 ounces of aluminum, and I usually get 50 cents on the pound. We have about 85 cents of aluminum. If I remember correctly, we were about 73 cents with all the other stuff, so more about a dollar sixty. Let's see, Let's see copper. So copper, we have. 0.2 ounces of copper. Copper, I think, is at about two bucks. 